Hi everyone, welcome to Sweet Peace Sids Inspirations. My name is Sydney and I want to thank you for clicking on this video. Today we are going to learn how to do the cloister duster vest. And before we actually get started in the tutorial, I just want to kind of go over some things real quick as far as the sizing goes and how you can adjust the sizing, whether you need to make it a little bit larger, smaller, shorter, or even longer. Um, and then also kind of the outline of how the design works up. So in the tutorial, this is strictly based on a 1X to a 2X design. Now, of course, if you need to make that smaller or larger, then um, the chain that we do at the beginning, which is a 98 chain, you will, if you need to make that a little bit larger, you will increase the size by seven for each sizing that you need. Um, same thing goes as if you need to decrease that, um, you will decrease by seven. So the multiple of this um, pattern is seven. Now, when we measure from top to bottom, this is about 42 inches long. The back paneling is a three row repeat. And if you need to make that a little bit longer, we do this for 52 rows. If you need to make it a little bit longer, you can of course go longer than 52 rows. Same thing goes as if you need to shorten that up a little bit, you don't have to go as long as 52. Um, so this design is very easy to adjust to the sizing that you do need. Um, once we have the back paneling completed, we are going to divide that into three sections. Now, this one specifically has a 14 row or a 14 uh, repeating unit in it. Obviously, 14 does not divide into three very well, so um, just try to divide it, divide it as evenly as you possibly can. Once we have the back panel completed and we've got that divided, we will start on the front paneling. Now the front paneling is also a three row repeat, but it differs a little bit than the back paneling does. Um, so once we have the two front panels completed, then uh, we will sew the back paneling to the front paneling on the sides. Now I wanted a little bit more drapier look as far as the um, armhole goes. You can sew that up a little bit if you need to, if you don't want as much of a drape look as I do. Um, again, it is easy to customize for yourself. Now I did find for myself, um, after making the, this design, the front panelings um, connecting to the back was kind of falling off my shoulders. If you do run into that issue and you don't feel like completely ripping the whole uh, project out, what I ended up doing was taking a piece of yarn and just kind of closing those together so that it wasn't falling off my shoulders um, so much. Now, if you want to rip that out, that is completely fine. Do what you feel is best for yourself. But that's just some things that I wanted to go over before getting into the tutorial. Now we can move into what we need. Some things that you're going to need for this tutorial is let's start off with the yarn. This is the Mandela Cakes in the color Centaur. You can use whatever kind of yarn you would like. This is a three weight yarn. You are going to need at least two of these cakes. Um, this one has some red tones, some gray, a little bit of yellow, mustard yellow, uh, some beige, and some purple. Um, again, you can use whatever kind of yarn you would like as long as it is a three weight. So, and you will need two of these Mandela cakes. Now, you will also need a hook, of course. I am using a four and a half millimeter hook. Now, if you need a swatch gauge, the swatch gauge will be down in the description box. Um, also, you are going to need a couple of stitch markers for when we go to do the front paneling side. Um, I'll explain that further on in the tutorial, but you will need some stitch markers, a tapestry or a darning needle to weave in your ends, and of course your scissors are going to come in handy. So in this tutorial, I am going to do a very small swatch 
for the four row repeats um, for the back panel. That way I don't have to make a whole nother vest for this tutorial. So you can go ahead and chain up 98 chains and then I will meet you for the very first repeat round of the Coister Duster Vest. After you have those 98 chains, again, my chain is going to be a little bit smaller because I'm just doing a little small uh, swatch. I'm going to place my thumb at that very last chain that we made and then we are going to chain up five. So one, two, three, four, and five. That is going to count as your double crochet plus a chain of two. So where our thumb is, we are going to skip the next three. So one, two, and three. In that fourth one, we are going to do a double crochet two together. So go into that chain, draw up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So that is a double crochet two together. We are going to chain two, so one and two. And in that same stitch, we are going to do another double crochet two together. So again, go into that yarn over, go into that stitch, that same stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up loop, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So that is a, again, a double crochet two together. So in the same stitch, you should have a double crochet two together, a chain two, and then a, another double crochet two together. Go ahead and chain up five. So one, two, three, four, and five. We are going to skip the next six chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And in that seventh one, we are going to do the same thing. Place a double crochet two together in that stitch or chain, chain two, so one and two, and in that same stitch, go ahead and place another double crochet two together. And that is our repeat for row one. So again, chain five, so one, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next six chains, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Double crochet two together in that seventh one. chain two and then another double crochet two together so continue working that repeat unit until you get to the end of your chain once you get to the end you should have three chains left go ahead and chain up two so one and two and then place a double crochet in that very last chain then chain up five so one two three four and five go ahead and turn your work and this is the second row repeat so we are going to skip that chain two space at the very beginning and we are going to go into the chain two space that is between the two um, double crochets two together and place a double crochet two together in that chain two space, chain up two, so one and two, place another double crochet two together in that same space, 
chain up three, so one, two, and three. And we are going to go into the middle chain of that chain five, so it be it should be the third chain, so one, two, and three. Place a single crochet. Chain up three, one, two, and three. Go into that chain two space that is in between the double crochets two together and place a double crochet two together in that chain two space. Chain two and then another double crochet two together in that same space. So that is our repeating unit. So again, once more, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and chain up three. So one, two, and three. Place a single crochet in the middle of that chain of five. Chain up three, one, two, and three. Place a double crochet two together in that chain two space. Chain two, one and two, and place a, another double crochet two together in that same chain two space. Continue repeating that until you get to the end of the second row repeat. And once you get to the end, we are going to chain up two, so one and two. And there should be that chain five that we made at the very beginning. We are going to place a double crochet in that chain three space. So that is our uh, second row repeat. And for our third row repeat, we are going to chain up five again. So one, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and turn our work. We will skip that chain two space at the very beginning. And then we are going to place a double crochet two together in that chain two space that is in between. Chain two one and two, place a, another double crochet two together in that chain two space. Go ahead and chain four, one, two, three, and four. And in that single crochet that we made from the previous round, we are going to place a single crochet into that single crochet. That is our repeating unit. So again, go ahead and chain four, one, two, three, and four. Place a double crochet two together in that chain two space. And then chain two, double crochet two together in that same chain two space. chain four, one, two, three, and four. Place a single crochet into that single crochet from the previous round. And again, once more, the repeating unit, chain four, one, two, three, and four. Place a double crochet two together in that chain two space. Chain two, and a double crochet two together in that same chain two space. Continue repeating that until you get to the very end. And once you have made it to the end, you will go ahead and chain two and then place a double crochet in that chain three space. So I will do the First row repeat with you once more where it kind of differs, differs where we were working in the chain stitches. So again, we will chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. That will act as the double crochet two together. Skip that very first chain two space. 
place a double crochet two together in that chain two space that is in between chain two place a, another double crochet two together in the same chain two space and then we will chain five so one two three four and five you are going to skip this whole middle section which is that chain four single crochet chain four we are going to go straight to that chain two space that is in between the double crochets two together and place a double crochet two together in that chain two space chain two place a double crochet two together in that same chain two space and then again chain five one two three four and five and continue repeating that until you get to the very end of the first row repeat And once you make it to the end, we are going to do a chain two and then a double crochet into that top of that third chain three space. So continue doing the three row repeats until you have a total of 52 rows and then we will get started on the front panels where the front panels differ a little bit from the back panel to start the two panels on both sides we are going to divide the back panel into three sections this is where your stitch markers are going to come in handy um i have 14 of these little uh double crochets two together chain twos uh, across so I try to divide that evenly as possible of course with it being 14 and dividing it by three it was not going to divide evenly but I tried as much as possible so what I did was I counted five of these so one two three four five on each side and placed a stitch marker that stitch marker is going to tell me where the front paneling will end and start and then in the middle, we are not going to work the middle, of course. Um, so on both sides, you should have five of these um, double crochet two together, chain two, double crochet two together for the paneling. The front paneling is going to be a little bit different than the back paneling. It is going to be a three row repeat instead of a four row repeat. Uh, I just kind of alternated the pattern a little bit. Um, because um to break up some of that monotony um i do also want to add in real quick that as you see the front peeling that i've already gotten done when you have the siding that is towards the neck or center torso part and then you have this part that is um near your arm the one closest to your arm on both sides is where we are going to do the chain five so that will count as a double crochet plus two and then we will continue doing the repeating unit once you get to the end that is on um the inside of the torso part after you get that last double crochet two together you are going to chain up one and then immediately start working into that chain two space. Um, I just wanted to add that in real quick because when I go to do my um, the three row repeats over here, it's going to look a little bit different than um, over here. It's going to be backwards. So I just wanted to add that in real quick and we'll jump right into the three row repeats. For my second panel, I'm actually going to start on the inside of my work. Um, it's just a little bit easier slipping that um, yarn into the chain two space than it is over here. Um, so I'm going to start off with a chain three. So one, two, three. 
and then I'm going to place a, another double crochet and that's going to count as a double crochet two together and then go ahead and chain up two so one and two place a, another double crochet two together in that chain two space And then chain five, so one, two, three, four, and five. Then double crochet two together in that chain two space. Chain two, place another double crochet two together in that chain two space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And repeat that until you get to that very last stitch. So again, a double crochet, two together in the chain two space, chain two, and then place another double crochet, two together. Then a chain five, one two three four and five so continue repeating that until you get to that very last stitch um so you should have five of those once you have gotten this row completed after you've gotten all five of those sections completed if you are working from the inside out we are going to go ahead and chain two and then i'm going to place a double crochet in that chain three space if you are working from the out inward then once you get to that end you'll chain three and then you'll go ahead and start on the next round which will be um what i did at the beginning so now if you're working from the inside out go ahead and chain five so one two three four and five turn your work and then now go ahead and go to that chain two space place a double crochet two together in that chain two space chain two double crochet two together in the same space We're going to chain five again so one two three four and five then place a double crochet two together in that chain two space chain two and then a double crochet two together in that chain two space and continue doing that until you get to the end of this row again you should have five of those in total and then i will meet you for that last uh repeating round for the third row repeat which i am working now from the inside out i'm going to go ahead and chain three which is going to act as my double crochet for the double crochet two together i'm going to go ahead and go into that chain two space and place another double crochet now, if you are working from the outside in, you will go ahead and chain five and then go into that very um, first chain two together and then continue on. Um, so then again, chain two, so one and two, and then place another double crochet two together in that same space. chain three so one two and three i'm going to grab both of those chain fives and i'm going to single crochet those two together and then now place or crochet another th chain three go back into the next chain two space place a double crochet two together chain two go back into that same space double crochet two together chain three one two and three 
catch both of those chain fives and single crochet over top of both of them chain three again one two three and continue repeating that until you get to the end of this row and that is the three row repeat you will continue doing those three row repeats for a total of 52 rows and then i will meet you for the connecting part um, of the front and the back paneling once you have gotten both of the panels completed you can go ahead and sew the front and the back panels together um, now i did leave a 18 inch armhole space um, you can close that in a little bit more if you would like i wanted more of a drapier look to the duster vest for myself that is all up to you but that is all that i have for the duster vest today if you did enjoy the tutorial please don't forget to give me a like share comment or subscribe but also check out my other knitting and crochet tutorials i do have a ravelry page where you can find my written patterns um also i have content on spinning and weaving if you are so interested in that um, but I hope you all have a wonderful day and please enjoy this beautiful vest and I will see you guys next time.